Hey, Danette, did you ever have the feeling that somebody might be watching you the whole time while you're in your house? No, you know? I haven't. You know, you know that like there's eyes looking at you. You can't tell where the eyes are coming from. Maybe there's somebody in the window or somebody under the bed or like they're hiding behind a coat rack or something. No. What are you talking about? Are you about? sure? Not even people in the audience say? Never? Ever? Hello there, folks. How you doing? And welcome to an Easter egg extravaganza. You might notice shortly... Who are you talking to? I, these people that just joined us here in the living room. Happy Easter, everyone! Happy Easter. Happy early Easter. Like the one-eared bunny house. <laughs> There's a story for everything. The Easter sugar house. We have a little he church. He lost an ear. That's, That's lit. the church. That's the church we worship at. It's lit, but you can't see it. Um, kind of, we're going to be coloring eggs. We're going to be coloring eggs. Actually, two adults coloring eggs. Because why not? Because why not? How do you, how, what do you think of the Nets Easter bonnet? What do you think of this? <laughs> what do you think of that? My Easter bonnet. I, I'm already telling you Easter I'm probably gonna have to take going. it off because it's annoying me. Has, uh, has her glasses Thank you on. all for coming. Thank you for being here and celebrating with us a little early. And I can't wait to taste my pizza rustica. Yeah. Yes. The, yes, Palm Sunday tomorrow, like our, that's right. Do you like our- uh, Do you have a story to tell not about Not gingerbread that? house that has an ear? Basically, when they tell you how to put these cookie houses together, um, they always tell you it's very easy. And we all know the story. They say it's so simple that like a, like a six-year-old could do it. Yeah. But you know what the saying is, gee, I wish I had a six-year-old here right now. I think it's their tiny hands, their complete enthusiasm for cookies that makes it easy for them to put these things together. Showing incredible off eggs. edible egg. So house. I made the hard-boiled eggs, and now I'm coloring them. So easy. Does anybody out Just there... a little effort. Does anybody out there still color eggs? Yes, tell me if you still color Even in eggs. The, if there's one person that Do you remember still colors this? eggs you have a colored as a grown-up. Do you remember this little thing the that tool. comes... With the tool. Yeah. Show the tool, Anthony. Let me show the tool. Remember this? This egg coloring tool? This is like the only time in your life you ever use this thing. Right, for. but no, you have to know how to bend it. If you don't bend you it, the egg will go flying. Make shaped uh, uh, and bubbles. Now, like, that, that, I do have a nice Easter bonnet. My own hair. <laughs> Look at what's going on over here, guys. Look at this. This is a creepy program, but funny. You know, eggs have their own life as well. Uh, so, George Lopez says he used to do the coloring when he was in grade school. The question <laughs> is, have you done it as a grown-up? Have you done it as a grown-up? Danette has. I don't know. I'm not sure that I am a grown-up. That's the problem. I, and I say all of this is due to my mother, because my mother was a kid at heart, and she would That's do right. it no matter what circumstance, no matter who was sick, herself being sick, no matter what was going on, my mother made everything wonderful. And so did my father. Good, what were you gonna say? Here's something, here's Don't a- Don't you love that? That's cute, sorry. That's, that's our, again, that's our church for anybody just arriving. That's the church we worship at. It's tiny, but very holy. And it's pretty. Yeah. Now, let me keep in mind that Danette searched far and wide because she'll only use Paz, P-A-A-S brand, Egg that's coloring right. kits. You got that right. She believes all the other ones are bootleg. Then, if, oh, don't you just love the pastel? See, I love Danette loves pastel, pastel colors. color everything. I, I am so weird. <laughs> George, now that now, now that George is pink. old, he enjoys fried eggs rather than coloring them. <laughs> Uh, George, I'm kind of with you well, there. Well, we'll get to that in a minute because I like eggs anyway. If you notice, she's doing, she's taking care of all the color related situations. Oh, look how situations. pretty that looks. I'm when I met Danette batch. and she told me that they that she she colors eggs, in. even when we were in our twenties. Well, Danette was a teenager still when I met her, so I thought not. But even then, uh, you know, I still color eggs. 
eggs. I was like, do you color eggs? You mean your mother lets you color eggs? Lets me. <laughs> because in my house, the back of the days when my, when my mother would color eggs, and I was way young when they, when she was still Come doing on, it. You didn't do it as a teenager. Not as a teenager. My Come mother on. dis disregard. My mother went away from the coloring of the eggs entirely. But she would never allow me to handle something as delicate as egg coloring. You know, food coloring. It's so complex. <laughs> Plessy says, Look at this. We had egg, we had egg salad easy. for two weeks after Easter. That sounds about right. I remember the net. Look at when that. We, I never worried about that before we were married. But after marriage, that I asked Look Annette... Look how pretty and like, pastel that is. What do we do with all these eggs? What's going on with the eggs? I don't care if you don't what even do eat them. I, I really don't care. I just and then gotta I would do say, it. It's so pretty. That's right. Munchkin can do it. Just and then it, it would say, dry. well, you can make egg salad. Let Come on, you can make egg salad. And I'm like, how much egg salad can I eat? What am I going to do with all of these it's eggs? It's one dozen so I got. One now. Dozen. I have some eggs mm. that I wanted to share with you that we can eat at this moment. Deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. And that is why How do you feel about the deviled eggs? So I could show you. Okay, here, look. How does everybody feel about the devil day? Hold on, can we just back up a little? I think they're slightly I think, suspect. I, I think we're going a little too fast because I have to tell something. <laughs> oh, budget production. It's a low budget production. Anyway, <laughs> the pastels is how I like everything. Like, when you go into the store and you buy mm. bedding, I hate the adult bedding. I hate dark brown. Yes, black, tell us about it. Ugly, putrid colors. I need to have bright pastel colors, pretty colors. I need colors that make me smile and happy. It just makes me feel better. Anyway, all right. Did so I now, hear Pizza Rustica mentioned? Yes, it I is true, Dolores. It is coming. The eggs it in the bowl. It is in the neighborhood. It's getting drink. Oh, yes. Let's wash that down with some delicious Manhattan special. We have a tasty beverage here. Ooh, I've heard of people putting mustard in it, but mustard sounds good. I really good. like paprika. So Delicious as you guys Manhattan know, special. How as much you know, I love Manhattan special. Manhattan special. Now we have the small a bottles. A Brooklyn treat. The small bottles because I could not find the big bottles. She is. She is. So we're going to take a little. All right. So what I like about the coloring of the eggs is, look, you can control how long you want to keep it in there. So see, this is like a little bit lighter than that one. So you can kind of like play around. And anybody out there that has any kiddos? <laughs> Come on, you got to Anybody have any children or kids? any children look, who have children? How long have we been live? What time is that? Look at the colorful. All right, what time is it? It is 4.13. And I 4 believe I started at 4.02. So look how easy took that me was. No time at all. Take was. a look. It'll only come it'll on, only guys. Take look at that. Half hour to make that all into egg salad. No. I think Danette started to tell you about the Manhattan Special Company. She has this like a slight obsession with the Manhattan Special Company. Now, Danette is determined someday in the future to get us into that plan that makes this. Well, I just want to talk to them. She wants to at least talk to them. But Happy they don't Easter, answer. everyone, says Munchie. They don't answer the phone. Hi, Munchie. Let's What's going here. on over here? First all right. of all, why are these? Why is this uh, Easter cartoon have so much Santa Claus in it? Wait, the net's bringing something. Thank you, Joan. Welcome. Ah, look at that. Look at this friend of oh, the family. Oh, you guys could smell it. Oh my God! Only if you can smell it. Smell a vision replaces not, television. You don't understand. That's is everyone celebrating the appearance. Hello, gorgeous class. He says, <laughs> "Yes, the drum roll, the drum roll came." Out. Doesn't that look pretty with that, with the colors? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you all, some of you, you may remember. Some Christmas. of you may remember the gingerbread house construction fiasco. Which that house was not up to code. So we decided to go with something that appeared to be much smaller and much easier. The instructions are slightly misleading. Where you have to like stick these ears onto here on a slanted roof. And the ear, and it has this little thing over there that's supposed to be the brace. So this ear started like flopping off like almost immediately. It started breaking off. 
One day, one day, it fell off in the middle of the night. Danette got out of bed, went in the kitchen, and stuck it back on, stuck it, it back stayed. on the house. And it stayed. It stayed for the longest time. And then all of a sudden, it just came right off again. Danette tried many things to try hey, to recraft the ear back on. She tried, I, I suggested peanut butter. We tried sticking Hi, it Joe. on with Welcome, peanut butter. Hi, Joe. Welcome, Joe. I'm sorry if I missed anyone. I'm good. Keep talking. It just I'm, didn't I'm work. The sticking it on with peanut butter probably. Hey. What's going on? I know that. Um... We have popcorn. Do you ever see, anyone ever see this? Look at this. It's everything bagel popcorn. I didn't. I didn't eat the ear. I threw it away. I didn't eat it. Everything bagel popcorn. Popcorn. And this is in honor of, uh, you know, peanuts, uh, peanuts Easter. Because, you know, like popcorn, it's what you eat for, like, what is that? Is that Thanksgiving? Oh, do you smell that? Good. It's in the the honor of uh, peanut, in oh, honor no. of peanuts Thanksgiving, we're having popcorn for Easter. All right, so how does it taste? How does it taste? It doesn't taste like an everything bagel. It tastes like a, it tastes false like popcorn. It's false advertising. It tastes like popcorn with a sprinkling of like, I don't know what, sesame seeds on it? I don't taste any salt. I don't taste any salt. Eh. Eh. No, don't buy it. But I would certainly make eggs again. <laughs> this girl really likes eggs. I haven't done this in a year, so I'm so happy. Let me oh, put it up um, there so you guys can Dolores see it. Dolores asked if you put decorations on the pizza rustica. No, we, we're not going to color it. Oh. <laughs> Do you remember anybody old eggs. enough to... You were all old enough... To remember the age when Rankin and Bass ruled the earth? They strode across. It was like dinosaurs ruled the earth. Rankin and Bass ruled the earth. Every, every holiday. They had, a, they had a, a, a cartoon for every holiday. And multiples. They, 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 the thing about Easter holidays is you could see they kind of played their hand by the fact that they continuously... Like, had to throw Santa Claus into their Easter cartoons. You know, it was just like, ah, oh, Santa Claus. Yeah, How are we going to fit Rudolph into it? Yeah, I, I, this, this hat is really cute, but I, I'm so hot. <laughs> hey, you try it. And my Easter bomb. Now I look like the snowman. <laughs> you do. Anyway, so we went on a, on a date in 1987, and I remembered that because it's on here as well. And we were walking down 2nd Avenue by 2nd Avenue Deli. We stopped at a store and they had these in the window. And we went inside and I love them. It's a little miniature refrigerator. And um, they, I had to pick between blue, green, or pink. And I picked pink because it really looked like the refrigerator color. So I just wanted to share this with you. I'm going to come a little closer. You could talk to them. Andy. Watch out for the soda. Yes, that's right. Don't knock that down. All right, so let me show you. It's a little refrigerator. Go ahead, talk, Ant. It's a little, it's a little refrigerator. It's a, little it's a magnet opening. Look how adorable this is. You have to see this, all right? I cherish this since we've been going out that long. Okay, so here's two eggs. These are erasers. So imagine this as being like something you would give a secretary, I would say. That's erasers. This pulls out, and in this little baking soda is paper clips okay then you pull this out and look what okay i'm going to show you what this is this is the groceries that are inside the refrigerator so we have two little pens that look like celery sticks we've got a pineapple that's a it's a staple a gun. staple gun <laughs> oh my god i love it this is a butter look at this butter is which butter is do? a uh, pencil, pencil sharpener, sharpener. We've got this that it that holds, let me put it down. This here holds glue, which is a little tiny ketchup. The ketchup is a that's glue the ketchup bottle. Glue bottle. I, I don't know what that is, squash. Classy says that's incredible. Look Please at this, close it's a the carrot. Bridge. You're letting the hot air inside. <laughs> Wait, that's I'm almost right, done. George. I gotta show you that's the right, rest. That's right, George. If my mother was here, she'd say, no, don't leave that open. Oh my gosh. The cold scary. is coming out. All right, so. But look at this, look at this. In the top part of the refrigerator is a strawberry shortcake. Isn't that adorable? And the strawberry shortcake. But wait, shortcake. it's a shelf, right? So you take it off, and what is it? 
It is a tape measure. Tape measure. But wait, there's but more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> All right, so here's the freezer. In the freezer. I forgot about the freezer. <laughs> you turn it around and it is tape. That I, I, tape I kept it for so many years not using it that you could still see the red that I never used it. I refuse to use it because I want to keep it forever. And then on this side, you put your pens and paper, pens and pencils, and there's a little pair of scissors. Pair of scissors. So isn't that adorable? Everybody. Like we said, there's a lot of different versions of pizza rustica. And it's from Korea. It says Here's Korea. Here's a nice on. little salad. I made a little made lettuce tomato. Let me tell you a little secret. What's that on the bottom? What, what does that say? Heads. We're oh. detecting copyright audio. Uh, oh. Audio? Nothing's on. Oh, they're not. Your stream may be temporarily blocked. You guys can still see us, right? Can how you about, still see us? How about we just turn it off for now? I did. Okay, tell the story. Always. All right, guys. As long as I'm not temporarily disabled, $135? George Lopez says that fridge is $135 what? on eBay. Are you serious? Thank you for the fast work, Are you uh, serious? George. All right, I got to tell the story. Tell the story while I... As we well know, like cook, we were cut. saying, there's many different ways of making pizza rusticas. Good. Now, it's, going it's the same in. color, George says. Here's the story. Look at that. It's the sword and the stone. Here's the story. Here's, here's the deal. Like you, you mentioned the haste. When I was a kid, when I was wow. a child, a young child, What's the matter? I, you I'm mesmerized, mesmerized by watching you cut that. You're talking. Anyway, Come when on. I was a kid, look I was look at very, there if you want to see. No, what never, when I was oh, no, a child, much much like oh, um. Oh man, this is so satisfying. God, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I'm looking at the inside of that. Wait, then that has the reveal. Hold on, the but Nets remember now, reveal. this is cold. It's not. This is cold. This is ice cold. It's oh, ice cold. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Look oh, at Anthony salivating. Look at that. Look at the bottom. Look at the top. Look at that. Don't you wish you had a piece? As Barbara Streisand oh said, God. hello, gorgeous. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, Ant. Go ahead. Keep talking. That's oh. nuts. That was good. I stole it. That's what it was. When I was a kid, we lived... I lived in a brownstone in Harlem. I was little, I was very young, and I hated eggs for the longest time growing up. And this was the reason. There was a lady who lived, there was a lady who lived in our building, and who used to, every seven. somewhere, oh. somewheres around, say, around the Easter holidays, she would begin baking. And what she baked was a version of Pizza Rustica that featured the whole hard-boiled eggs floating around inside of the cake, floating around inside of the body of the savory pie. So it would be like this, like the whole building was filled with the smell of, of eggs. It was because this, this woman like baked awful, them man. like a bakery. It was like, like a... It was like an assembly line, like, like, like a conveyor belt. They were coming out of her apartment. They would be stacked up. And how I remember it is this. How I remember it is this, that my mother helped her out. I remember as a kid, my mother saying to me, I've got to help the lady in. I've got to help the lady do the, do, do the, the Easter pies. And they would be stacked up. They, they would get bakery boxes and fold them up and make them and fill them in bakery boxes. And it would be like 70 of these stacked up to the ceiling in this woman's apartment. And it'd be like 45 or 50 stacked up in our apartment. And my mother had them stacked up on these bakery racks like you, know, like you worked in a bakery. And like like the, the stench of eggs. Yeah, it when I like met him, he's me. like, you like pizza rustica? And I'm like... Yeah, Because that's it's what delicious. I thought of it as, this thing that this woman made. I said to my mother once, wasn't there some woman in our building who used to make this thing that had hard-boiled eggs in it? And my mother said, yeah, that was Mary, the Italian. That's all I knew her as, Mary, the Italian. She was the Italian. Your mother was colorful. Yeah. She was very colorful. 
She's the Italian aunt. The Italian makes a lot of... She's, she's the Italian, as in she was from Italy. She was like my mother's age, but she wasn't born in America like my mother. She was from the... She said, my mother would say, she's from the other side. As since I was a toddler, I was like, the other side of what? The wall? The other side of the block? So you must All I knew really was there young. was a block. I'm talking about I was five, six years old. All I knew was the block. I knew 116th Street, 117th Street, Mary 118th Italian, Street. Right in, right Mary, side? the Italian. She was from the okay, other side. And she Look made pizza this. rustica. Look at, Look this. at this gorgeous Look work at of that. art. Look at, Look at that. that work Look at that. of art, guys. A little salad and a little, a little pizza rustica. And there's two ways of eating it. You eat it either like with a fork or like this, where you just put it in your or mouth. like this, where you just... You just pick it up and you eat it like an animal. So it's like kind of like that. See? And all right. So I'm, I'm going to try and eat it like now, I'm going to eat it like I, a gentleman. Now you it's still kind of we got to give this the taste test. And we do this kind of work for you guys and also for us. All right. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. OK, here we go. I'm going in. Oh my god. I think I'm forgumped. Mm, it's delicious. Jesus Christ, that's so damn good. I'd like to mail you all a piece. Maybe I should turn them out like an assembly line, like Mary the Italian. Try to make this recipe. Oh my god. Because this good. is really good. That is so good. I mean, really, take a look at that. Take a look at that. I didn't think that was going to be that good. That was That's really good. Look at that. So the other thing we, is tradition in our family is, of course, to make the Easter basket. So we always get the Russell Stofa candy. It's hard to see this, but Russell Stofa candy. This we discovered, which is a Reese's chocolate. This is a mat, and that's just like flat on one side. This is a Madeline chocolate which is a solid chocolate which to me and i these, think that's the only solid chocolate i've seen in a long time there's another chocolate oh my God. that we just discovered uh that we um, did we discovered a, a chocolate, chocolate called zittners i don't know if is anybody, anybody robert out there might that's know it's it. from pennsylvania i don't know if he's still in here but from pennsylvania it's a place called zittners and um, am i saying that right yeah Zittner's is this mm. company in uh, in Pennsylvania, and they only used to sell it in Pennsylvania, I guess. And they only make, like, chocolate eggs and things like that around holiday seasons, like Easter, Christmas time, they make something. And the rest of the year, the entire year... He didn't really get death threats. Year, he just doesn't want to change the He thing. doesn't want to get any dread death threats. The entire year, during the regular part of the year, they make chocolate-covered pretzels. I'm gonna show you a picture. Hold on, I have it on my phone. This is the factory. We're live I have streaming to show on you my this. phone today. Look at this picture. Okay, I want you to take a look. Oh, you see this, the ring light, sorry. I want you to take a look at that. Does that not look like a shack? And there's two homes around it. It has like homes around it. And it's been there, it's, it's been there since 1920. And it's between two homes in Philadelphia, North Philadelphia. So they're best known for their, it's called Buttercrack Eggs. And we're going to try it. We never had it before. George, George misses Brock's. I know. Remember the, remember the Brock's candies? Those used to be the gold standard for certain types of candies, weren't they, George? Brock's? Remember? What do you mean, Brock's? Brock's. You don't remember Brock's? Oh, Brock's. I thought you said Brock's. Then I thought I said rocks. Yeah, rocks was the good candy. I used to, <laughs> I used to eat them all the time. Rocks used to be the gold standard, right, George? They had the, um, that was the real candy corn at Halloween, remember? And the, uh, the, the Indian corn and the harvest mix. Brock's oh, harvest nice. mix. Good. That was okay, the ultimate now, harvest mix. See, Anthony, wait till you see this. Okay. So here's the box. It's called Zittner's. Buttercream eggs, double chocolate eggs, peanut butter eggs, marshmallow eggs, coconut cream eggs, and of course, the buttercrack. 
which has coconut in it, and here's the buttercream, which has no coconut. Has any of you ever, have any of you ever eaten this? So I put it in my little dish, my little candy dish. Munchkin's going nuts. This is what they look like. I have a, I have a few peeps here, because we'll talk about that in a second. So this is the cream. There's a little bit sticking out there. And this one is the buttercrack, which I'm so excited for. There's a store here that yeah. you never know what the heck they're gonna sell. There's a place, let's, let's be serious. There's a place, a place right here in Queens. You never know what the heck is gonna be on their shelves. Could be something you've never seen in your life. Does anybody like peeps? Good, I'm listening in. Now look at that thickness though. Look at the thickness of the chocolate all around. Why is it called buttercrack? That's a heavy, thick. Okay, here we go. Mm. Whoa, man. Wow. Yeah, that's different. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna want to call it buttercrack. Put it together. That defeats its own purpose. <laughs> As Robert De Niro said in Raging Bull, come on, it defeats its own purpose. Let's be friends. Let's be friends, honey. Come on! Bring it in here! Bring it in here! It's a piece of charcoal! You're burning the stick if you don't burn. Come on, it defeats its own come purpose. On. Come on. Boom. 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 Come on, come on, honey. Let's be friends. That's plugged into the wall, that phone, that this is being broadcast on. Because I had the foresight to buy a 16 foot long USB cable. Who else thinks of things like that, Danette? My Easter bonnet. Go ahead, what were you saying it? Um, yeah, like oh yeah, the pizza rustica. Okay. Shake an egg. What the heck? Okay, now that's just not right. Shake an egg? What is going on? What the hell is that? What, did you ever there's see that before? There's something wrong here. Shake an egg. Oh man, am I happy? I'm shaking an egg. Oh my god! It had no it sounds. Into a big ball. What just happened? I think it might be another commercial. Oh. This is probably I don't know. Inflate an egg. Anthony's yes. mother used to get offended because he didn't he didn't say Happy Palm Sunday. Yeah, she used to always like for call years. How come then, you didn't wish me Happy Palm Sunday? And then Sunday one year yet? she he said I said Anthony just call call her and say Happy call her Palm and say Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. So he called her and said. Happy Palm Sunday, Mom. And what did she say? She said, what? what? What are you talking about? I said, Palm Sunday. Her reaction was something like this. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, da, 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 happy Palm Sunday. How zones are Then I love this hat on you. Now all of a sudden you became Gilligan. <laughs> what, what's going on here? Gilligan, buddy. Um... Bum, 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 bum. I remember yeah, one Yeah, John day, Legend I, did do Godspell. That was a live uh A live version. version on TV. And what was the what was her name was in it? What's her name? She was so good at it, too. Um, I don't know. I don't remember her name. Go ahead. Um, it was the, um, the, the, the uh, what was I saying? Bum, bum. One day, I was watching, a, like, a... Did anyone watch Kung Fu movies on Saturday well, afternoon of when they we were did. kids? Back in the we day, they did. would be on Channel 5 here in the New York area. I don't know if there was that way everywhere in America, but it seems like most people remember. There would be Kung Fu movies on Saturday. And I remember there was this one Kung Fu movie where there was like a fight. And the, the, the soundtrack, I was saying, this soundtrack sounds really weirdly familiar. And suddenly it struck me like a bolt of lightning to the forehead. That's the music from the Ten Commandments. Bum, 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 bum. Are you serious? Bum, was that bum, one episode? Bum, 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 bum. One particular movie. I don't know. It wasn't the boy with the golden arm. It was some other movie. It was like soup. Oh, that was the movie. Sarah Bareilles. That's who it was. It was she a was movie awesome, called Super wasn't Power. She? Sarah Bareilles has such a beautiful voice. And I was like, oh, my God, she was singing Godspell. It was amazing. That's right. That's, to, That's she was, who it was. was. I in, couldn't remember her name. Okay, go ahead. Prepare ye. Yes, every, in, in the Ten Commandments. 
good. Blast yeah, the, the creature picking. features. And the other one, the other one that was on and on at night, chill. No, Chiller Theater. And that was the one where the hand came up out yeah, of the Vincent swamp. Yeah, Vincent Price was like, uh, right. and it would grab the letters of the word Chiller. Chill theater. And then the hand would go back into the swamp. The Everybody home. was kung fu fighting. I love the old hammer. But El Rey used to, on Christmas time, they used to have the kaiju Christmas. They were like yes. 24 Christmas hours of Eve, Godzilla. Christmas that's what we're watching is Godzilla. We used to watch it. I have photos of the TV. With the Godzilla Christmas on it on Christmas. Everything. There's a Christmas tree in the background on television. Godzilla's destroying Tokyo. Hmm. Go ahead, keep talking. So that's a, that's what we used to do at Christmas time. At Christmas time, Danette would say, what should we do? Should we do the marathon of a Christmas story? Or should we watch only Godzilla movies? I, I didn't have to ask you. I knew what you wanted to watch. I wanted the Godzilla movies. I, I really wanted well, the Godzilla movies. How can I deprive you on Christmas Eve? Paula. There's literally thousands of photos of me eating soup. Oh, I didn't know you were going to say that. Now That's I have to look for the year. I don't There's know There's thousands of photos of me eating soup. You have no idea how many times Danette took pictures of me eating matzo ball soup. It's it's highly unusual. I'm looking at them right unusual. now. As I'm you see, see liquid... And two balls. Liquid and two balls. Liquid and two balls. That's That sounds dirty, but it's not. Liquid and two balls. <laughs> she just keeps scrolling through it. And there's Anthony above the, above the bowl. Sometimes I'm doing this. All right, Sometimes I have the spoon in my I mouth. I don't know what year Sometimes was. the spoon's still in the bowl. Sometimes now that's what Christmas is all about. When I was a kid, I always wanted a big wheel. <laughs> Does anybody remember the big wheel? Who doesn't remember big wheel? It was a big wheel. It had a big wheel. No, no. what I wanted was a magazine holder. Oh, that's right. The magazine holder. Because Danette needed something to put her massive collection of National Geographic. No, in. not Gina <laughs> Tay. No, no, no. No, I only my might... mother wanted Gina Tay. Randy said, I, I, still, I still ride a big wheel, a turbocharged one with baseball cards in the spokes and a horn. That's what I'm talking about. It's a nice hard. little salad. I made a little made lettuce tomato. Let me tell you a little secret. What's that on the bottom? What, what does that say? Heads. We're oh. detecting copyright audio. Oh. Oh. Shaking egg. What the heck? Okay, now that's just not right. Shaking egg? What is going on? There's something wrong here. Shake an egg. Oh man, am I happy I'm shaking an egg. <laughs>